Hi, you guys. Um, I'm actually going to do a reading right now. It will kind of be my first personal one. And I'm doing this one um, just on my own time for her. As like she had asked something and I was going to do it as a topic, but I feel like I just need to do it as a reading and let the angels speak to her. So that's what I'm doing. So it is my gift to you. Since I feel so good today. Okay, and how I start these, I always start with the time, and it's 12.33. So we're going to go to the angel number 12.33 and see what they have to say, if the message is what they have to say to you personally. And I'm going to link um, where I go for my angel numbers. And it's the only place that I've ever went since last year when I was really um, being woken up. So that's what I'm going to do for you. So I hope you like it. All right, here we go. It's angel number 1233. Angel number 1233 is a blend of energies of number one and two and the attributes of number three with the number three appearing twice, amplifying and magnifying its influences and relating to the master number 33. Number one brings its energies of creation and new beginnings, progress and motivation, striving forward, inspiration and achieving success. Number one also reminds us that we create our own realities with our beliefs, thoughts, and actions. And I want you to remember that because um, I know you're kind of concerned or worried about their process. But when you do that, you really reflect it upon them. Don't forget that. So you have to try not to be frustrated. Just be patient. And um, like I told you, go to that reading that I did last Monday because it really hits on what you asked. Um, but I'm going to do this personal one, personally one this one personally for you. Okay, so number two carries the vibrations of duality, partnership and relationships, diplomacy and adaptability, sensitivity and selfishness, happiness and fulfillment. Number two also resonates with faith and trust in your divine life path. Is this the same? I'm feeling like this is the same exact time that I did my Monday one. I'm not sure though. Number two also resonates with faith and trust and your divine life purpose and soul mission. Okay, so you have to have faith and trust. You know that, right? You have to just trust the universe. Number three adds its influence of joy, optimism, and creativity, and self-expression, encouragement, enthusiasm, and vision. Number three also resonates with the energies of the ascended masters and suggests that they are around you assisting when asked. So don't forget to ask for help. The masters help you focus on the divine spark within yourself and others. The ascended masters are also assist with manifesting your wants and desires because you do create your own realities. So you have to keep your thoughts where they need to be. Um, don't get sidetracked. And how, okay, and it's, they're helping you to find peace, clarity, and love within. Number 33 is the master teacher number and relates to guidance and assistance. So I guess I'm here to guide and assist you. Understanding and inner wisdom, spiritual awakening, and upliftment. Angel number 1233 is a message from your angels. So they are going to talk to you right now. And the ascended masters that they are with you, guiding and assisting you along your divine life path. They ask you to maintain positive attitude, positive thoughts, and expectations in regards to the direction of your life. Have faith and trust that your present course is the right one for you and is in line with your soul mission and life purpose. Stay strong in your convictions and listen to your intuition and inner wisdom. See, that kind of goes back to um, the thing that you had posted about somebody was trying to like deter you from your beliefs, you have to stay strong in your convictions, okay? And you just, you go with your intuition and your inner wisdom. Do not let the um, people who are still stuck here, like, deter you from that. You can't do that. And you can't react to it. You have to learn not to react to it. And I know it's hard because I, ha like, I'm getting better at it, but I had a very hard time. I was, like, my entire life, I've just been a very reactive person. Like, my entire life. Angel number 1233 is a message to have faith in humanity as a whole and the future of our world. Light working abilities and life mission are to be utilized for the good of all. Keep a positive attitude about yourself and others and the world in order to manifest peace, love, and harmony. So no matter, um, like I told you yesterday, you have to like just love them anyway. Like those negative people, just like you don't have to bother with them or let them in your space, but don't get mad and don't like send hate, you know. And I know like you're probably not sending hate intentionally, but sometimes when we get mad and frustrated it really sucks our energy and then it stops us from doing what we need to do. So um, send blessings and positive energies to others. It doesn't matter what they're saying to you, okay? <clears throat> and to the environment 
and then expect blessings in return. Angel number 20, 1233 is a message to do with faith and trust in yourself. The angels in the universal energies have courage to live your dreams. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to your question. What was your question? Let me get back to it. Okay. Um. Well, you had like three of them. So we're going to do the first one. Okay. So we're going to ask the archangels to just be with us in our reading. And to give us the guidance and the advice and wisdom that she needs. Okay. And then so we're going to ask the first question. How does a male, I'm just going to say, how does the male energy know that um, awakening is happening? Okay. They just said they want me to do three. So we'll see if it falls, if anything falls really quick. Well, we're just going to have to pick the three. Mix them up, mix them up. They'll tell me when to stop, don't worry. Go on for the truth. Let's really mix again. All right, mix again. All right. I wonder what your cards are going to say. Wait. <laughs> I just get this view. It's going to be intense. All right. Keep it going, so. All right, these ones that are sticking out, I'm taking that. And I'm taking the other one that stuck up. Okay. All right. Now let's see where we are going first. Right is right, left is correct. I'm going to be told to pull this one first. So this is going to be your nine of earth. I'm always getting nine of earth. Okay. This was in the last um, reading too. Like I told you to go look at that reading. Okay, I heard that, um, to, that you need to be more in tune with your process and your girl. As they work behind the scenes to do what they need to be done. To do what they need to. Okay, so they are working with um, your twin. It's just going to take time. So patience is needed for, from you. And then when, okay, so it's saying when you like are in distress about this, you're caught, you're reflecting that upon that person. So don't do that because you're going to cause them havoc kind of. And I know you're probably not like, you're not doing that intentionally, but being worried um, and concerned about their process and kind of like, I don't know if you're like obsessing about it or like, um, you're just like, kind of like, come on, come on, you know, what's taking so long? You know, what's wrong with you that you don't get it? What's wrong? You know, don't do that because they can feel that. And then they don't take it like, I don't, they're not at the point where they're taking it. They're differentiating it between that. It's not them. It's you. Okay. So they're like, you're like kind of stalling it. You're like making them stuck. Okay. So don't do that. You gotta, um, like it's you can enjoy your life, enjoy your life and just do your process. 
because your process is what helps the other person grow. It's okay. You, your growth has great attributes to their growth. Don't forget that. Do not forget that, okay? Okay, every time that you're concerned about them, you're not letting them concern about themselves. I keep it's like hurting them. So don't do that. You have to focus on your own journey. And I know it's hard. And I said in my last reading, you have to have patience. So go see that reading because that was a good reading telling you how they're going back to school and stuff. So go see that, okay? Hold on. All right, we're going to go with this one. Okay. Oh, the high priestess. I love these cards. These are um, Angel Tear cards by Doreen Dor 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 Virtue, the 70 card deck. They're really pretty. Listen to your intuition. Have See, didn't I just tell you to have patience? It's so funny. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Um, yeah. So you're, by you being so concerned or so, um, and I, like, we all at well, some point were kind of concerned about, like, the other person. But I think, like, um, I know me, like, personally, I'm not, I'm not, because I don't really, you just have to let that go, like, you have to be on your own journey, do you, like, I said, you have to do what is needed to be done by you, okay, them, they're doing what needs to be done, they are, and whether you can see it or not, you just have to trust that it's being done, you really have to trust that, don't question that, you have to trust that, because the more you question, the more, um, like you're sending them, you're not sending when you're questioning um, and like just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's kind of showing you're not trusting. And in order for you to truly manifest what needs to be manifest and create your own reality, you have to trust it. Right. So you have to listen to your intuition. You know what it is. Okay, that's what you, you know that this is your twin flame and you know this, so you don't need to question it. So don't do that because it's stalling the process, like I said. So right here it says you have to have patience. You have to have patience. You have to trust the universe and consider carefully what you want before acting. Okay, so you want, you need to happen, right? You want them to come in and you want like all the beautifulness that comes with it. That's what you want, but you're... Pushing that away from you when you're like, oh my goodness, what is this person doing? What are they going through? What are they going? Like, it's pushing it away. So don't do that. Do not do that. Okay. You have to just keep your eyes focused on the bigger picture. Keep your, and I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But even like, if your thoughts start like coming in like that, you have to be aware of that and then change them, change them right away. Okay. Change them right away. Don't let them keep building up like that. Cause you're really hurting them by doing that. You really are. All right, here's your other card. Three of water. It says a celebrating a wedding. Oh, you got a wedding. See, if you do what you um need to be done, yeah, I keep hitting this union. It's just like, uh, as much as I want it, like, because I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't. I'd have to get into it where I'm just like, I don't even know if I want union. But like, yeah, if it's, I obviously, anybody wants union if it's coming. You know, if it's coming the way it's promised and you want it. Okay. And so you got, this is so exciting. You got a celebration, a wedding, graduation, a birth announcement. They need to have, they need to have more fun. Okay. Once you start focusing on your path and your divine self and your divine journey, um, what needs to be done will be done. And then all of this will happen. And you have three chalices. So just have fun. Don't be so concerned. Like, um, don't be so worried and don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it because that's really detrimental. It really is. I know, like, it's hard not to do it, but you have to really not do it. Okay. 
And it says, like, if you don't do it, if you start creating and manifesting the realities that you want, you know, because I'm assuming you want Indian, right? So you have to create that. You really do. So create it and don't question it. And don't question it at all. Trust the universe. Trust the divine plan. Trust what they're going to do for you. Okay? So let that person be. Know that they're okay. They have to go through what they need to go through. Okay? The awakening process is not an easy one. I know for myself it wasn't. It took me a year. <laughs> Hold on. How long did it take me since with do, 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 February? It's like now like a year and a half to really understand that this is completely real and it takes a while and I have I'm the um feminine energy so you can only imagine that if it took me that long okay that it's going to take that long but in my other card reading it has happened faster because I feel like if one of the twins have gotten their gifts have really woken up um that it just helps the other person. Like if you're doing your journey, if you are fully doing your journey and really not concerned about that other person, it's really helping them to really realize. So you get, you have to understand that, okay? You have to understand that. You have to do what needs to be done for you. And it really does help that person. And they're, it's going to be faster for them if you're doing what needs to be done. You are showing the process by being concerned, okay? Don't do that. I know it's hard. Don't do that. So you're good. As long as you start manifesting what needs to be, like, you have to enjoy your life. You have to find your journey. You have to do what you're calling, okay? Do what is needs to be done for you, what they're telling you to do, and do it. And do it with full force because I'm telling you, if you're listening to them and you do what they say to do, you are not going to be steered. They will not steer you wrong. They tell you the truth. They're not going to steer you wrong. They're not going to sit here and lie to us. They're not lying to us at all. So... Just enjoy your life, okay? And they do say on this card, it's a stunning quiet time alone. So maybe you want to do meditation. And it, if you do meditation and you create, like, you can sit there and, like, just focus on what it is you want. What is your goals? Where is it that you want to see yourself in all of this? Where do you want this to go? And, like, seriously, take, like, 15, 20 minutes and just deep think and build it. Build your empire in your, in your mind because it's going to come to reality. So do it. Start building your empire. All right. And then don't forget to have patience with them and listen to your intuition. Like you said, like I know people were trying to deter you from, you know, this whole thing. But don't let that happen. And don't even let that affect you. Like don't let it make you angry. Don't let it make you sad. Don't let it make... Because really... Like, I kind of overcame that. Like, people aren't going to make me, I feel bad for them. And then it kind of makes me laugh because I'm so happy that I'm seriously chosen. Like, that I seriously get to go through the process. So, like, that alone should make you, like, in harmony with yourself, you know? Like, because you're, like, just, like, this amazing, these amazing things have been connected to you. So, you have to be thankful for that, show gratitude for that, and really, like, just be excited about it. And don't let anybody, like, how can somebody take away what, like, you know is real? You know, we, we are on a different level. We're just on different vibrations right now, okay? So you can't let the people on the lower vibration, like, a, like they can't even touch you, really. Because they're on a lower vibration, you know? They can try, but it's not, you can't let that happen, okay? You really have to trust the angels, trust the universe, and know what you know. And do not let anybody take that away from you. Okay, and if you do those two things, you got the card where it says you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be celebrating harmony, okay? You're going to be celebrating the fact that um, the realities you created that manifested are coming into light. So just do that, and I hope that you kind of inspired me a little bit with this. So I hope I did help you in a way and inspired you.